Today, I'm gonna to be making a full English breakfast fatty. Oh yes, if you've been a fan of the Lockdown Barbecue Show, you would have seen that in one of the earlier episodes, I made a sausage fatty. Now I'm gonna pimp this one up. It's breakfast time, I'm starving, so I'm gonna be making myself a full English breakfast fatty. And here's how we do it. The first thing you wanna do, of course, is get your barbecue fired up. I'm using my Kamado Joe Classic 3 here. I've emptied out the old ash, refilled it with charcoal, got it lit, we got it up to the temperature with the heat deflectors in the middle position, so we can use it for nice roasting temperatures. And we're sat at around 200 degrees Celsius. So. Next, we want to prepare the fatty. So, get yourself a bowl. Get yourself some sausages. These are pork sausages with cheese and black pepper, just for that extra bit of filth. And what we do with these sausages is just take each of these and take a sharp knife and just go down the skin on each of those. Next, they're gonna go into our bowl. So just pull the skin away like so and in they go. Now all we do with this, and it's a messy job, is just mush this into a big meatball. We want to season it, so we're going to take a pinch of salt, a couple of pinches of salt, a good pinch of pepper. And we're just going to mush that until we've got something that resembles this. So what else are we going to put in our full English? We're going to put a little bit of black pudding in there. We're not going to cook this first. Uh, black pudding, really you only need to heat it through, so once this cooks through in the fatty, it's gonna be fine. And don't worry if you don't like black pudding. This, once it's crumbled up, just a little bit in there, it's just gonna give you that extra little bit of flavor, that bit of umami, that bit of pop, and you're not gonna know it's black pudding, but it's gonna make all the difference, trust me. So we're just gonna crumble some of this up, and this is gonna go inside. So next, we're gonna go in with the bacon. The bacon is what's gonna wrap the sausage meat. The sausage meat is gonna contain all the other ingredients. You can see where we're going with this, it's gonna be filth. So you take your streaky bacon, don't take it straight out of the fridge because you want to stretch it a little. You want it to be nice and long, as long as possible. And we're just going to lay that on our board. We can probably do it on one board, so we're going to do just that. So there's our bacon. You can see we've covered the board. We've got a nice, good surface there to stick our sausage meat in. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to take our sausage meat here and we want this nice and flat. So we're just gonna kind of try and roll it almost into a tube. And then we're just gonna stick that into the middle and just start kind of using your hands and just evening it out until we get all the way along the length of that bacon. Just wanna start flattening it out as well. Keep going until you're happy. You've got a nice flat surface area there. And that should do us. Next, I'm gonna go in with some scrambled egg because we want egg in our breakfast. Now, I've made some scrambled egg. Here's some I made earlier. All this was was a couple of eggs. No salt, no pepper, no seasoning. So a couple of eggs on a nice kind of low to medium heat, a bit of butter in the pan, eggs in the pan. And once they start to kind of, um, start to gently cook, then you just start mushing them about. And we haven't cooked this until it's dry. We've got nice, moist, scrambled egg in there because that's going to continue to cook inside the fatty. So we're going to go in with some of this. I've used two eggs here, you can use three. I think two is going to be plenty. Next, go in with that black pudding. Like I said, you don't have to use it, but it will offer you something a little bit different. So we're just going to sprinkle that along the egg. Beans, I like beans. We don't want too much of the sauce from the beans. We just want the beans. So we're just gonna take those out with a fork and just spread some of those along here as well. And I know you wouldn't normally have it on a full English, you probably never have it on a full English, but you can't make a fatty without some cheese. So I've got here a bit of grated cheddar and a little bit of grated mozzarella. So we're just gonna go ahead and sprinkle some of that in as well, because why not? Right, now we're just gonna take the sausage meat and just kind of enclose the rest of it into that sausage meat. 
You, can, you don't have to do it this way, you can have cling film under the bacon. I'm really unprepared, I haven't put any cling film under the bacon. So I'm gonna do it this way. Just take the sausage meat and just make sure that that folds around all of those fillings. We want it nice and enclosed. We don't want any of those goodies to escape our sausage meat. So we've kind of got that nice and enclosed. Now we're gonna take the shorter end of the bacon and just pull them up and around as far as we can onto that meat. There we are. So now we're just gonna take this and just roll it over like so until we get to the end and then just flip it. Now we just wanna kind of enclose the ends. So where you've got these fillings popping out the ends here, we just wanna pop them in and just trying to seal that sausage meat over. And the same with this end, just seal that sausage meat over those fillings. Don't let them escape. And that is it. That is now ready for the grill. So like I said, we've got the Commander Joe heated up the 200 indirect. So we're gonna stick this on the grill now. I'm gonna cook this to an internal temperature, 73 degrees. And at the end, I'm gonna put a little glaze on there because you're wondering where the tomatoes are on my full English. Well, instead of tomatoes, I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce on there that includes tomato sauce, a hot sauce, and a little bit of mustard. And we're just gonna kind of glaze that on towards the end. So let's get cracking. And there you go, there is my full English breakfast fatty. Now let's not hang about. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna take a slice, have a taste, let's do it. Absolutely beautiful, so give it a go guys. Give it a try. We're gonna go in and eat, because like I said, I'm hungry. So I'll see you again soon.